I love the comment about dismantling racism uh, within the system. It's certainly systemic. Uh, but let's talk about this. Let's talk about who created the uh, Providence External Review Authority. Let's talk about uh, uh, fighting to make sure that it stood funded. It's been front and center now. Let's talk about the very first person to hire uh, the, a black uh, director of administration in the history of the city of Providence. Let's talk about the very first person to hire the very first human resource director in the city of Providence, person of color, black person. The very first black person got hired as an EEO officer. Uh, again, somebody did all that, and that person was me. So you know, talk about rolling up your sleeves. You need to be committed to this point, and this is done by action. So when you look around the room, let's say in the JCLS and the, uh, the General Assembly, the House side, you know, 20, 15 to 20 people come from one district. Very few people of color. Nobody, uh, no, nobody from the Latinx community you see in that room. Certainly no Southeast Asian. So Talk is cheap. There are plenty of people in the city of Providence, for example, who are qualified to work these positions, but you need to find them. Don't make it a political nexus. Make it about letting it represent the minority majority of that society. So there are plenty of people of color that are qualified uh, and stop this perpetuation of racism. That's all it is. You know, it's who you know, what you got to know. But I say do it by leadership. Do it by your actions, not your words. This is something I live my life by this every day. I do it in my personal life. I do it in my professional life. I do it as an elected official. And I do it as an attorney. This is about fundamental rights of people. And Black Lives Matter.